Hello, my revivors. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I make my crock pot pot. You hear me? Crock pot beans. We're going to be doing some pencil beans and I'm doing a big bag today. Why? Because not only can we eat these with some rice and some homemade cornbread, which will be in another video. I'll be showing you how to make my tasty buttermilk cornbread so you can ditch the jiffy box. Okay. So anywho, today we're going to be making some crock pot beans and I'm going to share with you step by step really quickly how to make them so easy, so freaking tasty. You will thank me later. I promise you. So the first thing you want to do is start by cleaning your beans. If you're going to cook them in a crock pot and they're going to do a slow cooking process, you do not need to soak these beans. I'm just letting you know, just rinse them off really good. And basically what that means is you go in there, you get all the uglies out, all the broken beans, the black, black, dark, dark um, beans that look like they're charred or any beans that just looks kind of deformed. You take them out and then you move to the next step. So let's get that done. So for those that are new to cooking beans, these are the type of beans you want to take out or any that are kind of already split. I like to take those out too. That's just me. And you kind of go through, get the random broken beans out because sometimes they'll release a lot of starch beforehand and make it really thick inside your crock pot. So I like to take those out and I'm going to rinse these really good. I'm like double rinse them. See this one? These are the kind you want to remove out of your beans these ones that look like they had a hard life okay <laughs> so let's get those out and rinse these off so basically all you're going to do is run your water after you get all the nasties out and kind of massage around and you'll see all the dirt and everything or whatever that's in these beans come out in your sink but you want to give them a good good rinse and then we're going to move on to the next step so pretty decent not too much going on in that bag boom boom have. All right, they are all chopped up and this is the easy part. So all you're going to do is start putting everything inside your crock pot. I like to put everything in first and then and then put um my beans in. That's just the way I like to do it. So, let's get started and that was a half of a large bell pepper and also a, a whole small red onion. All right, we're going to start off with our onions and peppers and my crock pot is hot all right so we got the onions and peppers and we're going to put a little just a little bit of brown sugar it offsets the flavor I'm telling you it does something to your beans and that's about a tablespoon of brown sugar all right so I have beef broth you know we don't eat meat we do not we do not this right here you only need a dab of that like that was a, about a teaspoon we're going to do the parsley now I make the big bag this is about a good tablespoon of parsley black pepper gotta have that in there and that's about a teaspoon and then we're going to do some thyme thyme ginger these cubes and that brown sugar is the actual mwah to this meal like literally so this is the time and that was about a teaspoon of that we're going to add some onion powder and that's going to be about a good teaspoon and we're going to use some garlic and that's about a good teaspoon as well and I'm going to put some crushed garlic in there all right and that will be about a tablespoon okay and all right, now we can actually add our bouillon cubes. And let me show you the kind that I'm using. These are my favorite. Oh my gosh, these make everything right. And it's 112, I get these from Sam's Club. So we're gonna be putting three of those and I like to kind of break them up in there. And that is it for your seasoning. You can add more or less, but make sure you add those items that I told you. Um, they just do something to your beans and like I said I'm making this big pot because um, we don't eat meat for one but also um, I wanted to let me get some water hold on one second make sure I had enough for my actual um, taco meals that I create so if we have leftovers I can use these beans to actually 
um, use as my refried green for my tacos, my meatless tacos. So that's killing two recipes in one and then you put your beans in. You basically just want your water to cover your beans and you wanna give them a nice little stir and let them cook. And that is how I do my crock pot pentos. So there you have it. And now it is time to put the top on and let these cook for anywhere between five to seven hours. And I'll be back and show you what the results are after they are done. All right guys, so they are basically done. They went on about 12-ish and it is five, four. I'm gonna zoom in on these bad boys. Oh my gosh. Nye came home and she was like, no, it smells so good. My husband, he said that like, I wanna say 20 minutes after I put them on. Okay, so I was getting ready to move fast and I forgot I was recording, but I was over there trying to record the cornbread recipe too. So all I did was mix some warm water with some cornstarch and that's because I don't like it soupy. I like mine to be thicker and this is going to allow the mixture to get thicker and so it'll have like a sort of like a gravy consistency that's my camera on here yeah oops hold on that's my oven so i can put the cornbread in so yeah now if you don't want the color of the um the juices to turn too opaque you use cornstarch if you don't mind and you want it more thicker and the opaque look um you can definitely use flour so flour or cornstarch will thicken the see how they thicker they even look thicker when i'm moving them it's not as soupy as they did so i'll let these continue for another about 10 minutes and they'll be done and i'll play them and show you what they look like guys so i had started making my plates and forgot i was recording and i need to show you guys this so as you see the beans are like down uh, by like an inch <laughs> that's because i fed my family and they look amazing we're gonna zoom into this crock pot so y'all can get all into this okay do y'all see these pinto beans uh freaking amazing and they have thickened from the cornstarch and i'm going to show you how i like to eat them so let's get into the next clip got that good old jasmine rice i'm gonna add a couple scoops to it like so i like that juice to be all in my rice and i made some buttermilk cornbread do y'all see that and that is how i am going to enjoy my pencil beans i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys thumbs up the video if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time your girl puts up her random vids because i do i don't want you guys to miss out but baby that cornbread if it hasn't been posted yet it will be posted soon and if it has more than likely the link to it is below that way you can make this whole concoction and make my sweet southern cornbread from scratch and dip, ditch the jiffy box all right later gators some of you actually like this so i had to come back to do this so you can see look at all that goodness look at all that gravy and goodness OMG, but I like to eat it with my cornbread. We need to get a little bit of everything on that spoon. Let's taste, oh my gosh, let's taste. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 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 M